chloroplast it's a structure and fun uh, function the chloroplast is one of the important organelle of the plant system and they are responsible for performing the various essential function for the plant so we'll discuss in this lecture the chloroplast first we'll discuss about the main key aspect or the key features of the chloroplast we all know that chloroplast is composed or it contain the various pigments such as the chlorophyll which are green in the color and are responsible for performing the photosynthesis photosynthesis means the light is converted into the carbohydrate okay means the synthesis of carbon compound with the help of the light that is photosynthesis and this chloroplast of the plant system it is a, a complex and a much more larger cell organelle and it show the similarity with the mitochondria of the eukaryotic animal cell in various aspects means they are responsible for generating the uh, generation of the metabolic energy and uh, metabolic energy means the atp and also the mitochondria is uh, uh, some is synthesizing the atp and also known as the uh, powerhouse of the cell so in this way the chloroplast show the similarity with the mitochondria second the common features between the chloroplast and the mitochondria is the endosymbiosis means it shows some evolutionary origin from the prokaryote that is was once in inside of the uh, eukaryotic system and since then they are the part of the eukaryotic cell and are following some symbiotic association with the eukaryotic cell so the chloroplast show the endosymbiotic origin of the theory third common features between the mitochondria and the chloroplast is that it replicate by the division that is in the same way the bacteria divide and the mitochondria divide the chloroplast also divide or replicate by the division only the chloroplast has its own genome there also shows some similarity with the mitochondria now beside the generation of the atp or we can say beside the uh, metabolic uh, energy generation the chloroplast is involved in much or several tasks which as the photosynthesis as the photosynthesis is involved the conversion of the carbon dioxide to the carbohydrate or we can say the glucose and they are responsible for the synthesis of the amino acid the fatty acid and the lipid of its own membrane the third most important uh, role played by the chloroplast is that they help in the reduction of the nitrite that is from the Ne2 to ammonia and this is the essential step we can say in the incorporation of the ammo uh, nitrogen into the organic compound so these are the various role played by the chloroplast other than the atp generation and it is much more larger and the complex uh, organelle as compared to the mitochondria now we'll discuss about the structure of the chloroplast the chloroplast is much more complex and the large organelle and its size is ranging from the 5 to the 10 micrometer long and it is again bounded by the double membrane that is the chloroplast envelope which is composed of the outer membrane and the inner membrane beside these two membrane there are some uh, there are third membrane also present which is known as the thylakoid membrane and due to these three different membrane in the chloroplast these three different make it much more complex uh, cell organelle because they are divided into the three compartments. The first compartment is the intermembrane space between the outer membrane and the inner membrane. The second most compartment is the stroma which lies between the inner membrane and the outside of the thylakoid membrane. And third compartment is the thylakoid lumen which are present inside the thylakoid membrane it is the innermost part of the thylakoid okay now what are the thylakoids 
Hyaloid basically it forms a network of the flattened disc and which are flattened discs which are known as the thylakoid and they are arranged as a stack which is known as the grana. So this is the thylakoid membrane structure it's and the lumen is the space between the thylakoid. So this one is the lumen. And the stroma is one of the important component of this chloroplast because the genetic system, all the metabolic enzyme for the photosynthesis and the other metabolic uh, reaction take place in the stroma. And in the intermembrane spaces, the stroma uh, and the intermembrane spaces, again, uh, it composed of the outer membrane. Outer membrane show similarity with the mitochondrial membrane because it has porin and it forms the channel across the membrane by which it is permeable to various ion as well as a small compound or molecule. While the inner membrane, it shows the functional barrier between the cytosol and the innermost or the matrix of the chloroplast organelle. So these features are basically same as compared to the mitochondria and the thylakoid membrane used to uh, create a proton gradient around themselves by having the proton pump in its membrane. So these are the structure of the chloroplast and uh, the stroma and the thylakoid membrane here play a very important role. While in the mitochondria, the inner membrane played a very important role in the ETS and the oxidative phosphorylation because in the mitochondria, the inner membrane is folded into the Christi like structure. While in the uh, chloroplast, the inner membrane is not so much folded. Therefore, these reaction or the electron transport uh, or we can say the series of electron transport does not occur in the inner membrane while it is taking place in the thylakoid membrane. In this way, we can say the thylakoid membrane is the central layer of this chloroplast structure. So, uh, we will see how actually this uh, thylakoid membrane play a very important role in generation of the ATP or we can say the chemiosmotic generation of the ATP in the chloroplast. In this diagram we can see that this is the outermost membrane and the inner membrane is this, the stroma is present and thylakoid membrane and the thylakoid lumen. In the thylakoid membrane the proton pump are present and with which the proton are basically generated or transported from the stroma region inside the lumen region and due to which the electrochemical gradient is created and this gradient or this uh, or the energy the drive and the energy driven by the electrochemical gradient help in the synthesis of the ATP in the stroma region only. By the synthesis of the ATP, the protons are pumped back from the lumen to the stroma side. That is, the main function of the proton pump is that they are sending the proton from the stroma to the lumen side. But uh, with the synthesis of the ATP, the protons are pumped back into the stroma due to the generation of the electrochemical gradient across the membrane by which the ATP synthesis takes place. So this is how the chemiosmotic generation of the ATP in the chloroplast takes place. Now we will see what are the function of the chloroplast.